In that tutorial, you are going to discover how to implement the countdown mat game in Java. The countdown mat game, also known as good count mat game, is a game involving number puzzles in which you must make arithmetic operations to reach a random target number between 100 and 999 from six other numbers chosen randomly, from 1 to 10, 25, 50, 75, and 100. The solution we are going to implement is based on a recursive algorithm. To modelize the operations in the countdown math game, we are going to create an operation interface exposing two methods. An eval method, which takes two parameters x and y and makes the operation with them to return the result. And a symbol method returning a string representing the operation considered. Now we must create the implementation of each operation considered, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. We create the add implementation to start. We implement the eval method to make the addition between the x and y parameters. And we return the result. In the symbol method, we return the plus symbol as a string. Then we create the subtract oper operation implementation. We implement the eval method by making the subtraction between x and y parameters according which parameter is greater than the other. In the symbol method, we return the minus symbol as a string. Now it's time for the divide operation. We create the divide class implementing the operation interface. We implement the eval method In the symbol method, we return the divide symbol as a string. Finally, we implement the multiply implementation, the multiply operation, sorry. We create the multiply class implementing the operation interface. We start by implementing the eval method.
in return the multiply symbol in the symbol method. The operations implementations made, we can write the Java code of the condom game class. We declare a static array to store the operations to apply. It contains a add, a subtract, a multiply, and a divide object instances. We declare a solution field, which is an array list which will contain the solution to, to count for me. The find solution method is the heart of our algorithm to solve the countdown map game. In parameters, we take an array containing the number to use, the number of elements to consider, and the total to target. If the total to target is already in number to use, we return true because the solution is already there. Then we iterate on numbers to use. We apply each operation and we get the result of the current operation by calling its eval method. If the result is different of zero, we put the result in the new list of a number to use. And then we call recursively the find solution method with new numbers to use and we increase and we decrease number of elements to use by one. Finally, if solution is found, we add the current operation to the list of operations letting us to find a solution. And we return true.
at the end of the find solution method, we return false. We define a print solution method. The print solution method will be used to print the operations leading us to the solution found. If there is a solution, obviously. We iterate in a, in a reverse way on the solution arrays and we display the operations to make on the console. In the main method, we are going to test our algorithm, and so we define the numbers to use. 100, 2, 75, 3, 1, and 10, for example. And then we set a target to find. 848. We create the countdown mat game instance. We call the find solution method and, and if there is a solution to the problem, we are going to print the solution by calling the print solution method. And we display a message to the user telling him there is a good count found. Otherwise, we declare a message to the screen indicating us that there is no solution for this count. No solution for this count. Okay, that's all for the code. So it's time to test our algorithm and solve a countdown map game problem. We click on the run button. and we enjoy the result found and displayed in the console. Result of, operation, of operations are missing, so we change the code. We add the result of the operations in the array list and we can retry to execute our program. That's good. The results of the operations are well displayed. That's all for the tutorial. To discover more tutorials on Android and Java development, don't hesitate to subscribe to the SRL channel.